This is the future of gadgets. I present to you the Levitron. We have levitating trains, speakers, globes, plants, humans. Who knows what the future holds next? Maybe floating cars and houses? Alright, let's not go too far. This is a humble $43 display Levitron, which uses magnets to levitate another magnetic disc on which you can display all sorts of nifty collectibles. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Let's do a quick unboxing and get levitating. There isn't much on the box other than a bunch of pictures uh, and the product dimensions. Inside the box we have a user manual, a power adapter, the levitating magnet disc, a round plastic tool which is supposed to be some sort of a helping tool to balance the disc on the platform and below this foam we have the main platform. The main platform looks metallic uh, on the box. It is made of metal no doubt but it has some sort of a plastic wrapping on it. It is 11.2 by 11.2 centimeters and the height is 2.5 centimeters. Inside this is a big stationary ring magnet and four electromagnets and all these five magnets together form a magnetic field which allows the magnetic disc to levitate in mid-air. First things first, we need power. So plug in the adapter and uh, immediately the four lights in the corners light up. Now these lights have a dual purpose. First is they act as a guide. So you take the disc, by the way you can use this plastic tool to place the magnet in it and then try to balance it in the center. But I'm going to show you a simpler way. Just take the magnet in your hand and roughly center the magnet a couple of centimeters above the platform and you'll feel the magnets below pulling on it towards all the sides. And now you follow the lights. If it is even a little to one side, the lights on the other side will go out. So you just have to make sure that all the lights are glowing and then you can simply let go. And there it is. It is levitating. It looks super cool even if you don't place anything on it. It just looks kind of weird and strange. But we are not going to leave it there. You can place all sorts of stuff on it. Like this 3D printed Burj Khalifa I printed last year. Don't mind the change of scene. You can even give it a tiny little nudge and uh, it will start spinning. And actually keep spinning forever. How about an orange now? Or a perfume bottle. You can even place your phone on it. Now you just have to make sure that you center it properly or it will hang to one side uh, which doesn't look that good. One thing I noticed is if you're placing magnetic metals on it, like this metal bucket, it will pull the magnet a little bit to itself when it gets close and uh, cause it to crash onto the platform. But there is a trick around it. You have to place the magnet first on the item you want to display and then place the whole thing carefully onto the platform. Next question rises, how much weight can it bear before it collapses? Well, surprisingly, it is quite strong and you can feel the strength of the magnetic field when you try to press down on the disc. So I decided to place a cup on it and the cup is also, by the way, made of glass. And then add water slowly. It can support 12 ounces or 340 grams, which is a lot more than I expected. I also went ahead and covered the platform in plastic, just in case. I can't afford water going into the circuitry in there. If you're not amazed already, check this out. Since the magnet is held uh, in place by a strong magnetic field, if you do it right and very slowly, you can raise the platform a complete 90 degrees and the disc will still stay in place. How cool is that? And if you're even more careful and even more slowly, you can even do this. And finally, I think we have reached the limit. For the best effect, I found out that if you can cut a hole the size of the magnetic disc in whatever you're levitating, like this orange, uh, it looks like the orange itself is floating. I know you can do much better than an orange, but I just had this lying around with which I could show you. And no oranges were wasted in this experiment. Neither will this be. I love oranges. And that is what I'm planning for my next video with this gadget. I'm gonna make myself one of those floating plants I've always wanted. I saw them online in a YouTube video. And uh, they look really cool and zen, so subscribe and stay tuned for that. Alright, to conclude, I love it. I am simply fascinated by it. I know it's not rocket science, but there's something about looking at stuff floating in mid-air, defying gravity, that never gets old. It is perfect for an office desktop, kind of a stress reliever, you know. Nightstands. Oh, and I forgot earlier, the second purpose of the light is, it projects these nice lights onto the object floating, and it can also act as a night lamp. It is also perfect for displaying your most prized collection 
and even draw attention to a specific collectible if you own like a shop or something. I will definitely be playing with it a lot and you will hear from me very soon about the floating plant project. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Once again, a big shout out to Banggood.com for sending me this gadget to check it out on my channel. If you do decide to buy one, I request you to use the link in the description box below. I get a couple cents off every purchase. It's a way of helping my channel without any extra cost. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Instructables. All the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.